Hey everyone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can remove the Electro Shield here on this Electro Fatui without having a Cryo character in your party. So just as a quick disclaimer you will need an Anemo character for this to work and it also works really well on Abyss Floor 12. So basically what we're aiming to do here is we're going to use the cryo element generated by this other Fatui here in order to remove the Electro Fatui's shield uh, using swirl damage of our Anemo character. So just from the video you can see that I currently have Jean and Venti in my party. For the purpose of this video I will be using Jean just to show how it works. Right, so moving on with the video, the first thing you want to do is let the Cryo Fatui here generate his shield. I will just go ahead and watch that now. Right, so he's got his shield up and as you can see this little Cryo symbol above his head. And that's what we're going to use in order to remove the Electro Fatui's shield. We now need to wait until the Electro Fatui puts his shield up and he has done. Right, so now that they both have the shields up, what we want to do first is make sure that the Anemo skill that we use affects both the enemies. So the cryo damage is swirled onto the Electro for Tui's shield here and it removes it completely. So I'll go ahead and play this now so you can see how it works. Right, so I've used Jean's ability here. And as you can see, his shield is totally gone. It usually takes one or two ticks. Uh, Jean's Q does do quite a fair bit of animal damage, so it does go down quicker. So as you can see now, his shield is totally gone and you can do what you need to do. Just before I end the video, I will say you can do the same with other Anemo characters such as Venti or the main character as well. So that does it for the video today guys. If you did enjoy the video or found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.